Unit 7, Video 2. Assalamu alaikum. My dear all students, I hope you all are fine and in good health. Today, uh, we are discussing about unit number 7, as you can see on the board, that is, thank you, teacher. In the previous lesson, we already have read what the temperature is about. Now, what we need to do, we just have a look on the learning objectives that will be attained at the end of this lesson. So let's read it. You can see that use pre-reading strategies to guess the meanings of unfamiliar words in the given context. Apply critical thinking to interact with text while reading to use context to infer missing, missing words. Recognize meanings of common adjectives in relation to each other, for example, huge, big. And and the last, we will discuss about comprehension. Now let's start. Listen, students, we need to guess the meanings of unfamiliar words in the context. So there are, you can see that there are some unfamiliar words uh, which uh, there in the in your textbook the meanings of these unfamiliar words are already written on your textbook page number 70. Now what you all need to do is to make first an understanding about the meanings of these unfamiliar words and then after that we will use these words in making meaningful sentences. So let's start it. You can see the first word is inquire. Inquire means to ask somebody. How we can use this word in making sentence? We inquired the way to the situation. For example, we asked somebody to know about the way to the situation. Station. Now move to motivate. Motivate means in to encourage someone, to support someone. Art for kids is a great way to motivate your kids to be creative. For example, if your child is very good in uh, drawings and making arts, so that's a great way to motivate your child. For example, if you want, if you if you know that your child is has having creative abilities. Now adapt. To change in a new situation. Adapt means whenever you come in a new place, you try to change according to the environment. For example, in this uh, uh, unit, you also you have read that that Hamza has changed uh, his school, so he adapted to new in school environment. So that is called adapt adaptation. You should adapt yourself to the new clothes, whatever, anything, you may write it. You all might uh, all have to uh, write your own sentences by uh, understanding of these words along with their meanings. So lucky, having good luck. I, uh, we, uh, some, uh, sometimes we say that you are very lucky. It means that you have a good luck. I am lucky to have a mother like you. For example, I'm very lucky that I have a mother uh, like her and I'm very blessed. So appreciate is the last word. It means that to admire, to praise someone. How we can use these words in sentences? I really appreciate all the help you have given us. So, obviously, some, uh, somebody helps in any uh, kind of work. So, we appreciate their efforts for the help they given to us. So, students, these are all unfamiliar words that given in your context. And we discussed about their meanings, their actual meanings. And then we use these words in, meaning, in meaningful sentences. Now, what you all need to do at home, you need to make your own sentences. Try to make, uh, try to make a practice making your own sentences. 
So this is the first one. Now comes to the second objective. Move to that one that is very important and I hope uh, you all please be attentive. So look at this. This is called, these are called adjectives. Adjectives, what are adjectives? Do you have any idea about it? What are adjectives? Somebody, for example, I was that uh, uh, I express anybody his uh, his uh, qualities and I expressed anything uh, in the form of quantities. So these are called adjectives. As you can see in a form of a bubble, I have already written. Adjectives are the words that describe. When I, I describe something, anything related to a person or a thing or a place, when I describe, they give information about the quantity, about the quality, about the color, about the size, shape, region, whatever I am describing, these are called adjectives. And what they are related to? Person, place, thing, these. Some adjectives have same meanings, but have different origin. Look at this point. You need to be very attentive in this point. Listen, students. Some adjectives have same meanings, but they have different origin. For example, I'm telling you that uh, at one side, I, uh, I tell you huge. Huge means obviously a large one. And out of the one side, I uh, tell you big. Big so has also a meaning, a large one. So these two words have different origin, but when we are inquiring, inquiring about their meanings, they have the similar meanings. So similar meanings are what called? They are called synonyms. Similar meanings are synonyms. I hope you have an understanding about it. Now students, what you all need to do on your book, page number 70, there are given some adjectives along with their meanings, along with their same meanings. To give you an example that some words have same similar, uh, similar meanings, but the words have different origin. Look at this word that is cool. Cool means one side cool, cold, I'm feeling so cold. Another side icy, icy means also cold. So these are the synonyms of cool. And cool is also an adjective. Because we are describing anything. We already have discussed that. Adjectives, what are? Describing. Wrong. Wrong means at one side, incorrect. Incorrect means also mistaken. Mistaken also has a meaning of that something wrong. Now comes to new. New as the, as the synonym, the meaning of that one. Fresh. Fresh means also that something is new. And recent, recent is also something that is new. So these are the synonyms of this adjective. Now, what is this? Poor. Poor has a meaning of low, having a low standard. Bad, something very bad. Poor, something bad. So these are the synonyms of poor. Now move to quite. Quite means something like this. Silent and another synonyms of this silent and quite is mute, not talking, not talkative, not talking with anyone, muteness. So, what I need to explain you is that adjectives have different origins, the meanings, the, uh, the meanings of the adjectives have different origins but have similar meanings. So, might have an understanding about that one. Now, on page number 71, students, look at this. Read the given adjectives and circle their correct meanings in each row. I have already written these words. What we all uh, uh, need to do is this, that we need to mark or encircle the correct meaning of that specific adjectives lying there. So let's start. Number one is adorable. Adorable means what? You can see that practical, 
no lovable so what is the meaning of this adorable lovable brave brave means that bad no sweet no brave means like courageous curious curious means you can see that uneasy no different no yes curious means like strange dishonest honest no that is the antonym of that one na respectful no this is also an antonym antonym i am uh, 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 antonym is the opposite meaning and we are now finding in that case synonyms the same meaning of that one so dishonest having a moral now you can see that joyful is the sorrowful is the antonym true is the not specific meaning of that one so the accurate meaning of joyful is pleasant this is the accurate meaning of that adjective so in this way students we need to find the accurate meanings whenever we are uh, reading any context and in any text we are in a condition that we are able to pick the specific adjectives if we have an idea about that what are adjectives so we know that what are the specific adjectives and if we find any kind of adjectives meanings so we are able to find that one because adjectives have different regions words but they always have a similar meanings so this is the understanding that you all need to make it so thank you very much if you find any difficulty in this uh, lesson consult your teacher or your parents i hope this uh, video will be quite helpful for you thank you